around a year ago, I purchased a new MacBook Pro. And one super unique feature about this laptop is that it has a touch bar right above the keyboard. Now that sounds cool and all, but after using the laptop for an entire year, I've noticed that this touch bar is the most useless piece of technology ever. It is barely used by any applications, and when it is, it is just used for things that can be done with a simple keyboard shortcut. This is especially disappointing when it comes to things like music production. I mean, Logic and GarageBand do support it, but apart from that, it is pretty limited. So that's where today's video comes in. I've gone ahead and downloaded an application called MIDI Touch Bar. The name of the application tells you exactly what it does. It takes the touch bar on your MacBook Pro and turns it into a fully customizable MIDI controller. You're able to add different types of buttons or sliders, which you can then go ahead and map to any MIDI function that you want. It's actually really cool, and I'm pretty annoyed that I only found out about this application yesterday. But yeah, I think that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started. So I've got a section for all of the track volumes. These can be adjusted with the sliders here, just like that. And then next up, I've got these sliders here, which control all of the synthesizer effects. Pretty easy. And I've gone ahead and done the exact same thing for the drums. And last up, I've got this MIDI section, which can just be used to trigger drum pads or just play any MIDI notes. But yeah, that is basically how it all works. So let's go ahead and make a beat. So let's start things off by recording some drums. That sounds pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and record some more drums. That is still not enough drums. Let's go ahead and record some more. Now I think I just need to add on a kick and snare and that should be everything for the drums. Let's do this! I like the sound of that, now I think it's time to go ahead and add on a bass. So next up, I've got this little synth hit sound over here. So let's go ahead and record a melody. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add in the last sound, which is a little pad sound. So that is everything that I recorded, here is the beat that I managed to come up with. So there we go, my MacBook Pro's touch bar has finally been used for something good. I have a feeling that I'm going to be using MIDI touch bar a lot more in the future. It's definitely not going to be replacing my actual MIDI keyboard, but because it is so customizable, I'm sure I'll find a whole lot of cool ways to use it. But yeah, I'm really happy that I found this application. I've tested out a whole lot of similar applications in the past, but they were only really able to map the touch bar to things like keyboard shortcuts, which is cool and all, but I feel like it still really limits the amount of things that you can do with it. So that is it for today's video. Make sure to go ahead and follow me over on Twitch. Go ahead and join my Discord server and maybe just go ahead and support me on Patreon if that is your kind of thing. Yeah, 
that's pretty much everything. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.